All right, guys, what's going on? It's your boy, George Baker. So, as you guys can tell, we are actually at a storage unit facility. Believe it or not, yes, I got another 10 by 30 storage unit. So, I'm gonna show you guys something. This unit right here is the one that I won about a month and a half ago or so, or maybe two, two months by the time this video airs. Well, the one right next door to it, which is that one right there, we already opened it. I haven't looked inside it or anything, um, but we opened it up and it's the same exact owner. That's the only reason why I bought it. And it's right next door to the one that I'm already cleaning out. Owned by the same uh, owner and it's a 10 by 30. And you guys, it's not, I mean, I wouldn't say maybe not as many totes, but it's still just packed with all types of goodies. I do see an eBay little thing there so maybe you guys were right whenever we were sitting there doing the first unit we were talking about that maybe this person that was a reseller and i mean, it's definitely a good possibility the one thing i noticed about this so i will say this i paid two thousand dollars so after fees and taxes it came out to about t almost close to twenty five hundred dollars uh in total which a lot of money but from the stuff that i know that we found the other unit potentially some things are missing and it could be in this unit and you never know there could be more bigger and better stuff in this unit so $2,500 probably a little less than that all in so hopefully we find some good good treasures but again the one thing I noticed in this unit was obviously the same thing you don't really see anything crazy I did see this thing here was marked cars and I'm assuming there's going to be cars because we found cars in the other unit but then we found all these boxes that are just stacked all in priority mailbox we uh priority boxes which means maybe they're trying to preserve certain things so i mean i guess we can just take a quick look here and i can't really see oh the hot wheels okay cool so that's a box of hot wheels and then let's just see let's just take one more look on this one. Oh, i want the other one to fall and look yeah more hot wheels on the inside of there so um that is definitely a great sign and it looks like there might be something in here okay no i thought there's gonna be more hot wheels in there but as you guys can see there's hot wheels there there is stuff literally oh my god look at that <laughs> yo that is so creepy yo that is creepy but as you guys can see it's very very tight fit more of a tight fit than last uh last year and then look at this more snoopy stuff uh oh what is this a little disney thing so yeah this is going to be a great unit um to go through with you guys oh my god this is actually a lot more than what i thought <laughs> as you guys can see there oh my god look at all the boxes holy crap i didn't even see all this oh my gosh so the so the pictures it didn't really show anything behind here and then look at this we sold a few of these before um not the same thing but uh but yeah in the pictures you didn't see any collectible stuff it's just kind of the same thing but the thing is i have the upper hand of what's knowing what's in here but for a little bit of a little over or a little less than twenty five hundred dollars I think we're gonna make our money back is just hopefully there's some more collectible stuff but that little little halloween decoration scared me <laughs> so um i'm just trying to see if there's any anything on the boxes that say anything other than cars other than that i don't see uh, that says xmas but oh here we go barbie ceramics okay i guess we're gonna have more more porcelain and ceramics and stuff. look at this i think this is all hallmark yeah all hallmark stuff as you guys know, we've been doing pretty well with the ornaments. Um, matter of fact, let's just, it says Barbie. And there's no Barbie in here, but again, more. But, oh, wait, there is Barbie. Okay. Are oh, these all Barbie? Oh, they, oh, uh, no. So, okay, so cool. So we're already finding collectibles, which is amazing. So this is this is a 10 by 30 unit, as I told you guys from before. A little less than $2,500 spent all in. A lot more totes than what I thought. And again, the pictures just do not does not do this type of stuff justice because there's just honestly so much to go through and i don't even know where to start and then look at this i found this on the ground <laughs> another one of these little looney tune things so yeah so i'm gonna get some transfer totes ready so where we can start putting some stuff in i really don't even know where to start with this unit because again it's so packed that i don't know where to start as you guys could tell i did pull this little card out because i thought it was cool um but yeah as you guys can see there is a lot of stuff in here all right without further ado let me go ahead and pop open my uh backpack so i can carry you guys with me or as a matter of fact i might just put the chest strap on or something i'll figure it out and we'll start going through some of this stuff at the best of our ability and fingers crossed you guys keep me motivated subscribe like comment if you guys uh, enjoy this type of stuff because this is a lot a lot of stuff to go through let's go and get into it all right guys so i want to do this as strategically as possible and I obviously don't want to show you guys the boring stuff because I know there's a lot of boring stuff. So we're just going to try to pull a little bit up from the front as much as we can. And then we will start going 
and just trying to find some of the collectible stuff that way we could take home and all that good stuff so looks like this one's gonna be filled with a ton of cassettes from just the way it looks and the way it feels and i'm not seeing oh wait there's actually some cds in here some elvis presley christmas and i come to find you know you know whenever i'm looking at some of this stuff i do feel like they might be uh resellers of some sort maybe like at swap meets or something i'm not too sure um but there's nothing going to be in that for now anyways um we're trying to find collectible stuff this thing says elephants so i mean elephants could be anything but it's almost like if you guys noticed in this unit here it's almost like they preserve things a little bit better than the other one so this could definitely be a better sign of like some better stuff and again i did pay that for this unit made in little made in tall ones like all types of little trinkets man all right so we won't go through that because we don't want to deal with porcelain and, and stuff right now when I say this is going to be a lot of work, you guys, it's going to be a lot of work. This trash can right here is actually filled with boxes. So let's go ahead and just open that up and maybe we can find some goodies in these. Well, possibly not. <laughs> oh, look at that. That is pretty. That is very pretty blue. Pretty blue. All right. All right. Got another one of these boxes here. Let's see here. Oh, wait. You guys? Oh, I thought it was going to be jewelry. Dang it. Okay. Still pretty cool stuff. This is the Pentagon Sheila Collectibles. These Sheila Collectibles are okay. They do okay on eBay. Got a little trinket thingy. Liberty Bell, something like that. Again, I'm not an expert on all this stuff, but I do try to learn whenever I can. Oh, you guys, look at this. NES game. The uncanny x-men oh it's broke though look at that and that is unfortunate still cool though i guess and i don't see and again i think this is going to be another unit to where oh, these are actually cool little trinket boxes oh oh avon so yeah i think this is going to be like one of those units where it's just going to be a little bit of everything in each box we will put that off to the side, but that's definitely going to devalue it, possibly. Let's go with this one. This one's kind of light. Hey, there we go. These are the monster trucks. Yes. We got more of these monster trucks. As you guys know, these uh, monster trucks do very well. Anywhere between $10 all the way up to like 100 bucks. I, have, I actually have two of them that are worth 100 bucks on the first unit over here. And look at those. These are very, very cool. So there's two, three, four. So there's six of them in here. Cyborg mini blower you got grave digger oh look at this one masters of the universe he-man that is pretty cool brand new i think it's from 2005 i know 2002 so it's technically vintage so definitely this is the type of stuff you want to find are these monster trucks so this right here will definitely go home with us so we can list for sure a little less than 2500 dollars all in it's definitely a you know we definitely need to get stuff listed as quickly as possible we have another little box from that bag. That's kind of cool. Oh, it's Hallmark ornament. That's pretty cool. Oh, so there's actually a lot of Hallmark ornaments in here. You got a little miniature skates. You got the Tin Man from Wizard of Oz. Okay. And I think that's what a lot of these are going to be. They're all going to be Hallmark ornaments. Yeah, 1997 Hallmark. So this is kind of cool. Um, I would like to probably get the ones with the actual... Oh, there's nothing in that one the ones with the actual boxes and there's nothing in that one clone troopers that's pretty cool though we'll try to get the one with the boxes if i can and i don't think that's in there uh no this one's not in there so that's unfortunate but that's perfectly okay got nothing in that one so i think what they did was i think they took these out yeah hallmark uh, peanuts ornament a little, little lot of them okay now this is definitely good stuff for sure it's not in there oh here you go see gi joe little lunchbox thingy what is this oh it's like a little it's 
like a little thermos. Oh, it's a Hallmark. Oh, that's so cool. A Hallmark G.I. Joe little thermos case ornament thing. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, we'll put this off to the side. Um, we'll take this home with us. Maybe, maybe those ornaments are in these wrapped up because there's a lot of them that are wrapped up. And this type of stuff is doing really well right now because it is uh, Christmas time. Right, or at least right around the corner. So this stuff we definitely need to take back with us as quick as possible all right so this box right here is the only thing that we saw in the pictures where it says cars and this is a decent sized box so oh and look at that oh we got some more monster jam uh trucks look at taz a little bent but that's okay so yeah more more die cast cars tonka oh, you got a little got a little five piece here one two three yeah, a little five gift pack piece that is really cool okay so there you go more die cast cars all right, let me go ahead and move this thing right here. It's over there, I guess. And I guess we're just going to go pull this tote and then kind of work our way, I guess, without things falling because this thing's starting to fall. No. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, it's like dominoes in here. You move one thing, everything's coming down with it. All right, let's go through this tote here. It's just kind of light. Oh, okay, hold on. Look at that, hit clips. Hit clips is pretty decent. Yo, this thing's filled with collectibles. Holy crap. All right, hold on. Let me push this back a little bit. Yo, look at this. Pullback racer. Okay. And then we got Super Mario. What year is this from? 2007. Okay, so it's not vintage, but that's that's pretty cool. We got some Hot Wheels. Some more Tonkas. Oh, here we go. We got some more Hit Clips. Uh, they're actually different. They're not the same color. This is like a teal. It's like a blue. So brand new stuff. Oh wow, we actually got a whole lot more. Look at that. Another one. And then look at this. I think it's Micro Machines, I think. No, Monster Patrol. NKOK. -okay. I don't even know if that's even worth anything. Monster Patrol. Made in China. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe maybe it's worth something. I'm not too sure. Oh, um, but yeah, this thing's filled with collectibles, you guys. Look, another hit, uh, hit clip. Another hit clip, you guys. Another one of these hit clips, uh, uh, Homer. Homer Simpson. We got Fat Boys. That's actually kind of cool. They're like fat, they're like wide. <laughs> uh, and then we actually sold a few of these before in the other unit. These Grim Dudes, Tech Deck Dudes. So, yeah, these things, this stuff will, will definitely 100% sell. A little Tonka, that's probably not worth much. And we got some glassware inside it. <laughs> so let's just open it up, I guess. Pyrex, maybe? And yes, this is actually Pyrex. This is Hamilton Beach Pyrex. Wow. That is probably going to be worth something. Got to clean it a little bit, but that might be worth a little something, you guys. So we'll definitely keep that in here. And then, what is this? Hallmark Santa's Midnight Ride ornament. And that's actually in there. It's heavy. They paid $30 for this thing. $30 for that right there. And then look at this. Like, so much in one tote. These are 10 car party packs. It's probably from the early 2000s. Yeah, 2001. Um, I was going to say late 90s, early 2000s. But yeah, 2001 is two sets right there. And then we got more stuff. Tonkas. And then we got Matchbox Hanna-Barbera <laughs> uh, presents uh, Tom and Jerry, Huckleberry Hound, Flintstones, Jetsons, and Yogi the Bear. Look at that, you guys. Yo, this is wild. The first tote that we pick. Got a, a Thomas Kincaid. Yeah, Thomas Kincaid puzzle brand new and then look at that spongebob squarepants a little set and we got a justice league set look at that you got flash you got wonder woman superman green lantern uh manhunter so yeah these are all brand new brand new you guys and then last but not least you have this harley davidson 2000 uh year 2000 calendar from hallmark so that is pretty wild and that's everything from this tote all right let's move some of this stuff out of the way all right, you guys, we got more collectibles in this bag here. So it felt like cardboard boxes or something, but let's see. Let's open this bad boy. No freaking way. Yo, look at that. It's a little messed up, but what are you, the 90s? 96. No, 99. Pokemon sliders. And they just threw it in there like that. That's crazy. And then one of these little turbo skis. I I don't think these are worth much. I think they're worth like 20 bucks a piece. I mean, it's still decent, I guess. I got another one. Oh, got another one of these uh, 
Lilliput lanes. These are actually pretty good as well. Um, they do pretty decent. I got something wrapped up here. One of those is going to be Danbury Mint, maybe. All right, this thing says uh, crafted in China. Yeah, so I mean, it's still a pretty cool piece. Just not what we're looking for right now. And then Pier 1 import picture frames. Let's pull this one real quick. Now we're losing daylight, so we're trying to do this as quick as possible. Got a little cassette book. Here we go. A little surprise toy. Uh-oh. Oh, look at that. It's Corvette. Join the Caravan Hallmark Ornament. That is pretty cool. You guys, we are finding all types of collectibles off of the get-go of this unit, and I, that makes me happy. All right, let's pull this one right here, and then we'll work on that tote. All right, looks like we got like a jewelry box here. And nothing. We got some ring, uh, earrings. Not gold, though. A little bracelet. Okay. Still pretty cool. Right, let's see what's in this bad boy right here. It says BASF Audio. Okay. More cassettes. Uh, Kenny G. It's the only one that I recognize from there. All right. Got a brand new wallet. Nothing in there. And again, it's the same stuff. Like, you got all these random postcards and happy birthday cards and stuff. All right. What is this? The Polaroid Cold Clip 194. Okay, it's kind of cool. Might be worth money, but we'll come back to that at a later time. All right, let's work on this tote. It's all smushed. And again, I think they might have been they might have been a reseller somewhere, maybe swap meets or or maybe they just bought a lot. I'm not too sure. It looks like all this again is going to be porcelain. Like I said. This unit and the unit that I just recently cleaned out and I'm still still cleaning out is all owned by the same owner. And look at this. So yeah, all that's gonna be forced. So I'm just gonna put that off to the side. All right, let's go ahead and grab this one. Trash at the top. Three Musketeers locker. That's pretty cool. Kind of pins are those? I think they're generic. Nothing in there. And so you got some CDs. Not what we're looking for, at least for now. You have tons of these brand new bits. Look at that turbo bit, regular bit. You have high speed bits. So yeah. Okay, that's going to be something that we come back to. All right, we got a small tote. I'm going to pull this one because it sounds like something interesting. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I, just, I just thought it sounded interesting. So, yeah, more Hot Wheels. Nothing too exciting from what I'm looking at, but it's still pretty cool. Still still a lot. Of, oh, look at that Navy. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm ex-Navy. 106. I wonder if that was in somebody's booth. This one says 108. Maybe it's an auction, actually. Auction might make more sense. But yeah, more die cast cars. All right, let's try this tote here. It feels kind of light. Might be pillows or something. Nope. Oh, it's close. Some linens. Halloween stuff. Halloween lights. That's pretty wicked. Wait, look at that. Huh. All right, I'm creating a table right here where you guys can kind of see it more downwards. Oh, look at this. I didn't even see these. Comic books on top. The Punisher. Punisher War Journal, and then you have Batman the Penguin Affair. Okay, we'll put those off to the side just in case. All right, what we have here? Uh-oh, we got another Hallmark ornament. Oh, you guys, this is this is wicked. This is 100% in here. It's heavy. Look at that. Harley Davidson Around the World Ornament. You know, we're just going to open it up just to verify. Yep, sure enough, look at that. Brand new in there. This is how all the other ornaments were in the other unit. Brand new. Like, that's just crazy. Just wrapped up in a random bag at the bottom. Just trying to find some good stuff. And then you see Beanie Babies. They got those preserved. 
Um, it's like, where to start next? You know, like I want to pull from over here. Like, I guess we're just going to pull this little box here. I kind of want to pull the, the little boxes because it's, I don't know, it's just not that hard work. <laughs> oh, okay, hold on. Look at this. This is a Snoopy one that says, go to hell. That's messed up. That is cool. It's a sun pearl, though. I don't know what that means, but that's really cool. I'll put that off to the side. What is this? A little knife, maybe? Yeah. It says moose. Okay. Put that. I'm not going to put that off to the side yet. And then we got some Kurt S. Adler. Yes, these are from the 90s. Yeah, these should be late 90s, maybe maybe early 2000s. I actually sold a Kurt S. Adler uh, NFL one. So yeah, these would definitely go with us. All right, so let's just go ahead and pull these four boxes here. I know the top one should be Hot Wheels, I believe. Yeah, so the top one is Hot Wheels. That's actually pretty cool. Hard nose. I don't think those are going to be worth anything crazy, though. All right, let's see this one right here. Yes, sir, more Hot Wheels. Look at that. I am like the die-cast car king. If you guys remember that storage unit I cleaned out in Somerville, South Carolina, we found about a $15,000 die-cast car collection. Look at that. More. Just more, more, more. Very cool. And believe it or not, it takes one of these to be worth something. So we had a lot to go through. That is for sure. Right, let me close this up. All right, next one. More die-cast cars. Look at that. Yo, this video is already starting off as a banger. Like I said, we have less than $2,500 into this unit. And we need to recuperate this money back quick. First editions. All right, we got two more right here. I'm assuming they're going to be <laughs> die-cast cars again. I want to show you guys new stuff, but I also want to show you guys, you know, a lot of it. A lot of the collectible stuff. Look at that. More. Definitely not filled up, though. All right. Big box. And this is not die-cast cars, okay. We got a little cow. He's like, wait, the cow's like, we need some moolah. Haha. <laughs> Sorry. I'm... Oh, it's another one. So we need more moolah. <laughs> um, okay, so yes, yeah, there's a lot of, well, again, a lot of little knickknacks and porcelain. Just stuff that we're not looking for right now. All right, let's say we got a bunch of cleaning supplies right there. So we're just gonna set that on that little thing. And that looks like linens. We don't want that. And again, I don't, again, I, you guys, I don't know where to start. Like, just look how much stuff is in there. Like, just look at that. Tons and tons of stuff. It's a lot of stuff. <laughs> I don't know where to start. So it, I just guess we're just gonna pick up these little priority boxes, maybe. Maybe get lucky, there's some collectibles in it. All right. And no, it is heavy though. Oh, that's why, okay, so there's gonna be some something in here. A little decoration piece or something. Oh, look at that. Yo, that's pretty. It's a little crooked though, there you go. A little brass, little horse jumping over a fence. Okay, I'll explain why it's so heavy. When I say this thing's heavy, this thing's heavy. And then more brass pieces, okay. So some brass. Matter of fact, this thing says solid brass. Look at that, made in India. It's pretty. All right, second one. And what's up? We have some brand new CDs. Oh, there you go. Alvin and the Chipmunks. Uh, more CDs. Whatever those are. Oh, you guys, we got coins. We got coins. All right, hold on. We're going to go to the coin one in a minute. I'm going to open up this real quick. Look at that. That's pretty. Yeah. All right, I don't think there's going to be anything in there. And then look at this. We found coins, you guys. We're going to get to the coins and say these playing cards. Yeah. So playing cards in that. And then look at that. Coins. And God, which was 1945 half dollar. And then 1957 half dollar. Look at that. That's why you look through everything. All right, believe it or not. If you guys see this lock right here, this American Lock Company, I actually just sold one of these for $10 plus shipping on this. This one, I don't see it has the key. So no key on that one. So we're probably just going to leave this one behind for now, but we found some coins. All right, last priority box that we had right there. And it looks like there'll be more brass pieces. Look at that. Made in India. Nice little brass piece. 
don't know what that is. And oh, that's pretty. Mesa International, handcrafted in China. So yeah, again, not stuff we're looking for. I'm gonna pull this one box that says Barbie on it, and I'm gonna pull these two pieces here. And again, I don't really know how we're gonna do this, but we have a lot to do. We will be back here tomorrow to go through this unit. Um, but yeah, you guys saw these Looney Tunes Taz and Looney Tunes Bugs. Um, 2001, I believe, is that what we said? No, 2003. 2003 on these, so still more collectibles. And this is Barbie, so maybe some Barbies in here. And okay, look at that more Hallmark ornaments. It's a Barbie one. This was the 45th Barbie anniversary, so are they all gonna be Barbie? Oh, another Barbie 1962 Barbie. Might need to start putting some of this stuff in a tote. <laughs> all right, Barbie peppermint candy cane. That is the Scarlet O'Hara. <laughs> so it's not Barbie. Oh, look, we got a Snoopy one. That is pretty cool. Shoebox tree topper. And then we got, oh, a Russian Barbie. <laughs> uh, portrait of Scarlet Gone with the Wind. Then we got Barbie Angel of Joy. And we got Barbie ornament and travel case. So a lot of Barbies. Penguin races. And then, oh, it says Lego. So it's a Lego Santa sleigh. That's pretty wicked. All right, so let me go ahead and put all this up and get it more organized, and then we'll bring out another tote. All right, guys, so I'm going to stop the video right there because that first real big box of ornaments is just a a sample of what we found. So I was trying to think of the right uh, metaphor there or something to say, right? Something clever. And let's just, like I said, let's say it's just a sample of what you guys are in store for. On top of that, I did just want to come in here and let you guys know, uh, I wish you guys a happy new year's. I know it's going to be a couple days after the new year and uh, I just want to let you guys know I appreciate you guys. Um, hopefully 2023 is going to be amazing for you guys uh, all the way around, no matter if it's finances, uh, expanding your families, uh, you know picking up a hobby i don't know whatever you whatever you guys personally do hopefully you guys excel at it in 2023 if you guys need that motivation i'm here for you uh but yeah that is just a taste of what we have in store for you guys over the next four five six seven videos depending on how quickly we get done with this unit so uh if you guys could please hit that subscribe button hit that like button because the next episode we're gonna blow the the door off the hinges <laughs> i kid you guys not be prepared because it is a lot uh but in, in the second episode will be definitely longer for sure uh but yeah much love you guys hit that subscribe button hit that like button and we'll see you guys next video it's your boy georgia picker much love peace I don't wanna wake up.